I want to take a look at a couple of those shoe stores and get you some new shoes. I just need to stop at the bank and then we'll head out to the mall. Okay. some paralysis below the neck. Booster seat? No, he wasn't in a booster seat, but he had a seatbelt on and he was in the back seat. Because children's bodies don't fit in an adult seatbelt uh, the way an adult would, um, the forces during an accident um, can cause some serious and unnecessary harm. In a crash, the forces an unrestrained child experiences are equal to dropping them from a second story window. The only way to help prevent life threatening injuries is to keep your children restrained in the back seat on every ride. But for young children, a safety belt may not be the safest answer because safety belts are designed to fit adults, not children. To adjust, kids often move forward in the seat and place the shoulder belt under their arm or behind their head. Unfortunately, a seatbelt on a child that would fit an adult properly um, tends to come across the neck instead of at the shoulder for the child, and the lap portion will come across the softer part of their abdomen. So during a collision, um, the forces are concentrated on these areas and can lead to internal injuries and sometimes injuries that are fairly serious at their necks. Whether the shoulder belt is positioned under a child's arm or behind their head, the damage caused by a safety belt on a four to eight year old child is serious and unnecessary. Allowing your child to use an adult seatbelt that does not fit correctly can lead to brain injury, paralysis, internal injuries, and even death. How do you protect your kids? Once children outgrow forward facing safety seats, they need to be restrained in a booster seat, which requires the use of a lap and shoulder belt. Booster seats are available in several models and cost as little as $20 to $30. Your child should sit in a booster seat with the lap and shoulder belt on every ride until they are at least 80 pounds or until they reach 4 feet 9 inches tall. For most kids, they're at least 8 years old before they reach that height and weight. Keeping your kids properly restrained and in the back seat until age 13 reduces the chance of a fatal injury. As seen here, the difference between a child restrained in a booster seat and a safety belt is alarming. A booster seat minimizes injuries because it positions the safety belt over the strongest parts of a child's body. When is it okay to give up the booster seat? Safety belt should only be used when your child is able to sit back against the seat with the lap belt low across the hips and their knees bent at the edge of the seat. The shoulder belt should fit across the center of the chest, away from the face and neck. If the safety belt doesn't fit properly, your child's life is at risk. Booster seats are easy to install and use. It's really as simple as buckling your child into a seat belt. The truth is, my daughter is much more comfortable in the booster seat. It allows her to sit up and look out the window. It feels better because it fits better. Like most kids, my daughter sometimes does not want to sit in her booster seat. But here's a bit of advice that I like to give other parents. I let her go to the store and pick out the booster seat and then personalize it. She put stickers and other things on it so that she felt very comfortable and truly felt like the seat was for her.
There are many things that parents can do to make their children not only more comfortable, but more likely to stay in the booster seat. Try to avoid using the phrase baby seat or child seat. Uh, the children in this age group look at themselves as the big kids. So emphasize that the booster seat is for the big kids. Or you can try playing with them by saying it's a princess seat or the big boy seat. Something that's a little more attractive to them. One of the other factors to consider is to try to keep the child busy, because if he's busy with something else, he's less likely to be fiddling with the seatbelt system. So some of the things that we suggest might be having a conversation. This is a great time to talk with your kids and, and find out what's going on in their lives and in their day. But also things like removable stickers you can put on the car windows that they can play with, uh, soft books, anything like that to keep them occupied. The most important thing I've taught my daughter is that if she does not want to sit in the seat, the car is not moving. We are not going anywhere. It's just not worth the risk. When I see a child in the emergency room, because he was improperly restrained, it's really devastating. You and your children should walk away from this crash. Increase both of your chances by buckling up yourself, using booster seats for your children, and keeping them in the back seat 